Hi, I'm Russ Hall. I'm the EMS coordinator for the Holden Fire Department. I'm just going to go through the difference between uh, BLS level ambulance and uh, the department's ALS level ambulances. Uh, as you can see over here, uh, BLS ambulance is basically equipped with basic first aid equipment, uh, bandages, oxygen supplies, uh, ice packs, uh, fluid to irrigate wounds, uh, backboarding equipment, and uh, different splints. To set up a BLS ambulance, you see that the equipment that we need to take into somebody's house is basically the, uh, the uh, our, what we call a first in bag, which has your basic first aid equipment, an oxygen bag, which has a portable tank in it, and a semi-automatic or automatic external defibrillator, which EMTs can operate in case somebody goes into a cardiac arrest. Uh, that's pretty much the only equipment, um, if you're running a BLS ambulance, you're going to transfer between trucks would be those three bags. The rest of the stuff is, is standard in Massachusetts ambulance and statewide. Uh, for the ALS equipment, as you see here, uh, we have a lot more than, than just a couple bags of equipment that we have to move around and, and stock the ambulance with. It's all required by uh, Mass DPH. Uh, in our ambulances, we carry a, a, a Medtronic Life Pack 12, which is a uh, monitor which allows us to do 12 lead EKGs in the field. We can manually defibrillate somebody, we can put an external pacemaker on somebody if they need, uh, um, you know, if their heart is failing and we have to uh, get their heart rate up. Um, we have the ability to do automatic blood pressures with this and keep track of their vital signs. Um, this is a, a quite a, a sophisticated piece of equipment. Our ALS first in bag is much more uh, in depth than a BLS bag a kit to uh, uh, put a, an airway in somebody if they need uh, by intubation, which is putting a tube down somebody's throat to breathe for them. Uh, we have IV supplies in there, we have uh, supplies for diabetics, we have drugs, as well as, as your routine first aid stuff. Uh, we also carry a drug box, which is full of all the uh, required drugs by the state of Massachusetts to, to treat all the different illnesses. We have backup drugs, which we must carry. We have a CPAP uh, equipment which is also used for uh, airway people with uh, congestive heart failure we can do that it's a, it's a positive pressure airway keep their airway open uh, so all this equipment is all part of the ALS package then we have to stock the ambulance with a certain amount of ALS equipment which is really not transferable from truck to truck it kind of has to stay in the vehicle and that includes spare IV catheters spare syringes spare fluids uh, and we have to carry a certain amount of IV fluid uh, administration sets for the IV fluid, uh, extension sets for the IVs, and we also have to carry uh, different airway supplies. We have to have spare uh, endotracheal tubes, we have to have spare uh, meds, we have to have spare uh, supplemental airways in case we have somebody that's very difficult to intubate and we still have to get an airway in them. We have to carry those on the ambulance. And then we also have uh, another cabinet full of spare ALS supplies. This is all our spare monitor and cardiac supplies, spare electrodes, defibrillator pads. Um, we have to carry spare batteries for the monitor in case we have a malfunction. We have to carry a spare cable. Um, for every cable that's on that cardiac monitor, we have to carry it with us in case there's a malfunction when we're taking care of the patient. Right. So the ALS portion of the ambulance is very in-depth. It's not really uh -huh. something that, that you can carry in a couple bags. Right. It's, it's, a very, it's a lot of equipment. Uh, but it's necessary equipment. Yeah. So when we get to a call, we have the ability to do what we're trained to do, and, and our hands aren't tied to just do basic first aid. Right. That's pretty much it. And uh, what's the value of having a, the new third ambulance to be, be equipped for ALS? Um, well, there's many reasons why you'd want to equip every ambulance the same way, because mm -hmm. it's, it's continuity throughout the whole department. Um, we operate under a paramedic ba basic state, um, paramedic basic. Uh, staffing waiver, which means that we can run an ambulance out of here with one paramedic in it and one EMT rather than two paramedics. Okay. Uh, that would enable us, when both of our primary ambulances are out, if we have another call, uh, if we get a paramedic that comes back into the station, that that ambulance can also go out as a paramedic unit. Uh, it's also nice to have spare equipment. Right now, uh, where we started the service up a year ago, uh, we pretty much have the equipment in the two primary trucks. We don't have uh, spare stuff, so if one of our monitors malfunctions, we're out of service with one ALS right. truck for, yeah. for the time for it to get repaired. Um, you know, it's nice to have spare, spare equipment, basically, for a service, especially a service that does the amount of calls that we do.